Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. The risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, we go to bookmap.com. There is a 14-day free trial. It comes with education. Uh, it gives you access to the Bookmap educational course uh, and the advanced order flow webinars that start in about a half hour. Okay, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so this webinar here, we go through the platform details. Uh, we go through what Bookmap is displaying, how to understand it, how to use it, uh, and then we get into um, the um, a little bit of the order flow. But uh, we really uh, dive deep into that uh, in the second webinar. Okay, so making a distinction between those who are new users ask your questions here and those who are current customers uh, then uh, ask uh, more detailed questions about order flow and trading okay all right any, any questions you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com uh, let's take a look at the website here uh, click on explore uh, brings us down to the um, intro video here it's about a minute long if you want to watch that uh, just kind of scroll through here about Bookmap, what it is, what it offers you. Um, just uh, uh, not much text there, but just gives you a taste. Uh, and then uh, Bookmap for equities. Okay, it's not just for futures. We also uh, now for a handful of months uh, offer it for equities. So you get it with NASDAQ Total View and NASDAQ Last Sale. It's a great data feed. We can look at some equities if you guys want. Just, just let me know. Um, and... Um, uh, let's scroll down a little further. Connectivity, okay? So Dev Experts and NASDAQ is also included down here. Uh, but for futures, uh, you will need one of these data providers. Uh, and um, uh, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, uh, IQ Feed, uh, Transact, these are all data providers, all right? Now, um, the uh, uh, Stage 5 uh, offers many of them. They are a broker, uh, but... Um, uh, Ninja, Interactive Brokers, Traders Workstation, and then uh, TT, XTrader Pro, okay? These are other platforms, so what we do connect to the API of these platforms, all right? So um, uh, we we'll, can we'll connect to the API for some of these platforms available, uh, but uh, we are a platform just like they are. So uh, you connect your data feed directly to Bookmap, all right? Okay, uh, a bit further down, pricing. Okay, this is where you can find your 14-day uh, free trial. Make this a little bit bigger here. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, so for the uh, the pricing, uh, for 49 per month, uh, it's billed quarterly, or 99 per month, and that is also billed quarterly. Okay, free for 14 days. But uh, the... Um, the difference between these two uh, are the uh, the add-ons. It's it's other features. So we have one-click trading. You can trade right from the bookmap chart, uh, as well as uh, the uh, these proprietary add-ons uh, that we have here. Okay. Now, uh, just to uh, tempt you guys, uh, we do have a new version coming out by the end of the year, uh, and there's going to be many more features. All right, and add-ons. So uh, lots of very exciting stuff coming up soon uh, with Bookmap, all right? Um, uh, for those of you who are quants and have very specific needs like connecting your own data or your own proprietary indicators, reach out to us and uh, learn more here. Uh, if you need a data feed, all right, so you're new to futures as well, uh, but interested in trading futures, well, you can click here uh, and um, uh, there's uh, some... Uh, options for a uh, trial of uh, specific data feeds as well, okay? Uh, and if you want the total breakdown of all of these, the differences between each of these platforms, uh, you can click here and get the complete list, okay? All right, social media, uh, you can follow us here on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, is the Twitter handle. This gives you the most up-to-date information uh, and news about Bookmap. Uh, the um, YouTube channel, all right, this is where you'll find uh, many different playlists of videos, okay? So uh, on the home page here, there's an intro video followed by a playlist of intro videos here, 
this one, for example, gives you uh, an overview of uh, a book map. You can see the other ones here are just like a minute or two long uh, each. Uh, and then um, features and components, okay? That's um, uh, get gets into some of the very specific features and how to use them. So if you're new to book map and you want to, uh, for example, look at the correlation tracker or you want to look at just the basics overview, uh, you watch some of these videos here. You can click on the playlist as well up here uh, and look at uh, uh, one after another. All right, uh, order flow video snippets. Now, this, these videos here, very short, just uh, you know, a few minutes. They go through order flow phenomena that we cover uh, during the advanced order flow uh, webinars. Okay, so um, these just give you the concept and the idea. Uh, and then uh, the details are covered in the education and the webinars in the live market. All right. Okay. Well, let's take a look at Bookmap. Uh, let's what's going on here. Uh, take a quick look. We'll look at the uh, NASDAQ, a quick overview of a bigger picture. What's going on? Okay. Well, just uh, you can see a half hour trend to the downside. And um, let's take a look here at Bookmap then. And what's going on here? Okay. And we'll zoom out and get a bigger picture view of this as well. Okay. Well, yeah, back and forth, as you can see. Um, uh, here is the uh, pre market. Okay. Here's our 930 open. And you can see the volume pick up uh, and the. Uh, uh, the move to the to the bottom and then uh, right back up to uh, above the open now. So anyone who's short is getting knocked out if they put their stops up in these areas here. Uh, and um, just some interesting things right off the bat that uh, I want to inform you guys about. Now I'm I know that this chart looks really complex. Um, don't worry, I'm going to simplify this for you. It's actually really uh, simple information you're looking at here. Um, bar concepts, different bar rotation concepts are much more complex than what you're looking at here. All right. It's just, uh, uh, we're showing you a very objective, clear view of the market. Okay. So for example, uh, just pointing this out here, look uh, at the areas here of liquidity. Uh, now I have full depth of market uh, with rhythmic, the rhythmic data feed um, in uh, with the CME. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, there were traders here uh, before uh, 8.30 that were uh, placing their limit orders in some of these areas, okay? Uh, well, we can zoom in and see if they actually got absorbed or not or if, it, if, it, if um, they pulled that liquidity. But it's interesting to see this full depth of market because we can see where traders were lining up early on in the process. You can see that they held their, their, um, their contracts uh, they wanted this price, uh, and they held these uh, through the uh, the cash open. All right. So anyway, um, just uh, want to point that out, and let me get into and define what some of these things are. Okay. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with a candlestick chart because that's what we're familiar with, and I'm going to take off all of these other layers of data. Okay, and we're looking at a 15-minute candlestick chart here. I'm going to actually uh, uh, show you a new feature here. Okay, this is on the new latest build of, of Bookmap. I think it might have been offered uh, on the previous uh, build. Uh, but um, let's click on uh, the studies configuration, and then you'll see all the different add-ons and all the different configurations here, and click on candlesticks. Okay, and uh, these are the different modes you can use for your candlesticks. Uh, the body width, uh, the interval, let's go to a five minute, and the VWAP. This is the new feature, right? So within this five minute period, okay, um, we're giving you the overall VWAP of the um, the uh, the candle or the volume that occurred uh, in that period, right? We're also giving you the, the, uh, the bid and the ask um, uh, VWAP, okay? So if you don't want to look at the... Um, uh, the overall VWAP here, well, we can take that off, and now you can see they're very close uh, to each other, but um, and it makes sense that they're close, but uh, uh, we'll see little distinctions here and there that uh, this is the buy, um, uh, aggressive buy volume, and this is the aggressive sell volume in red pointing down. OK, 
Okay. All right. I'm going to take those off and just we're going to simplify this. Okay. And we have an, an indicator sub panel here. It's a cumulative volume delta. I'm actually going to close that up as well. And we're just going to really look at a simplified chart here. Okay. This is a five minute candle and we do have a volume sub chart. All right. Now the, <clears throat> the problem here uh, with this five minute candlestick chart, we're all used to uh, looking at this, uh, this view. Uh, the problem is though, is we have no understanding of little micro structural areas in here. Uh, we have no understanding of um, where the volume actually traded and took place. We don't know what type of volume it was, more buying or more selling. Uh, and we don't know um, uh, when or where. Okay, so uh, those are really important pieces of information that allow us uh, much more informed trading decisions. Okay, so uh, uh, all we're getting here is open high, low close of a five minute bar. And that's that's it. Okay, we can start to kind of piece together, you know, buying and selling pressure by looking at the wicks and the bodies, et cetera. Uh, but um, it's it's really um, uh, kind of reading the, uh, the, the tea leaves here. Uh, we, we, we really don't know. Uh, and that's that's really a problem because uh, we're making pretty important financial decisions based on very limited information here. Okay, so let's just turn on historical best bid and offer and I'll show you what that allows you to see. Okay, just just this view alone allows you to see quite a bit of information, uh, a lot more. And uh, why is that? It's such a simple thing. Uh, just best bid and offer plotted. That's it. That's all we're looking at here. Uh, why that's important, though, uh, is because now we can start to read microstructures. Okay, uh, we can see that um, we we uh, originally dropped here, and it kind of we kind of went back and forth a little bit, and then uh, you can see sellers came in here uh, just below the swing here, and uh, and hit it pretty hard. All right, so they hit the bid really hard. We dropped down very quickly, uh, drop an, another. Um, another leg here, uh, come back up and uh, look at all this information above this little structural swing here where we had the pullback originally. Okay, now we're going sideways. Okay, and we're not, we're making a, actually um, from this swing here, uh, we made a higher high. Okay, uh, and um, uh, just from that little swing right here. Okay, now the low, the low is here, but you can see we don't come back down and test the low. All right. So, um, and in fact, you see once, twice, three, four times, there's actually many more times in here, but uh, you can see we tested this area and uh, uh, we found uh, a lack of selling. Okay. No more sellers. Okay. All that information is uh, uh, not here in the candlestick chart. Okay. Now is, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting ahead of myself. Uh, I shouldn't say we see lack of selling. Okay, we just see we do not breach uh, down below. We we trade to this area, and it and it returns back. Okay, we see the break of it up here. Okay, that much we know looking at just historical best bid and offer. All right, now if I zoom in here though, and then uh, we'll, we'll zoom in in a minute. If I turn on the volume dots, now we're going to see exactly what traded and where. Okay, and uh, we're getting the uh, overall shape. Of, uh, of what's occurring here. Uh, we can see on the historical best bid and offer, the transactions that took place. Okay, that's all, that's the only other piece of data that we've uh, uh, plotted onto the chart here. Okay, so we can see here's the drive down and um, a lot of selling, okay. Red is aggressive selling, market sell, uh, and uh, green is market buy, okay. Uh, and um, yeah, no surprise here to see the break and then to see the red uh, dominating uh, on the sell side. It is actually kind of surprising. So I did get ahead of myself here. We do see clusters of, of, of volume down here a little bit, uh, especially right here uh, in this area here. And let's, let's zoom in here. So I'll click on the hand tool. I'm going to hover over this area and I'm going to zoom in with my center mouse wheel. Okay. Okay. All right, so now, for example, uh, we know exactly where volume traded, 
uh, within this five-minute period. So let's look at this big long candle here. Okay, well here's all the volume. Okay, it's actually not uh, the distribution is not too bad. It's uh, looking pretty pretty even, uh, to be honest. Um, probably um, a bit more down in this area here. Um, yeah, probably the VWAP is right around here, I imagine. Uh, well, we can we can verify that. Let's just turn on the uh, VWAP. Yeah, here we go. There's your VWAP right there. All right. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, but now we understand um, who's in control, uh, who's driving the market, uh, where they're trading, and how much they're trading. Okay. Uh, and how much compared to uh, the, the aggressive buyers. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, that's uh, really insightful information. Now, uh, Perhaps you guys are accessing a footprint chart. Okay, footprint charts are great. However, the, the, there, there's one issue with the footprint chart, and that comes back to the same issue here with the candlestick chart, is that it aggregates. It's aggregating all this data within a time period, okay? Either a bar rotation or a time period or whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? So you don't, you can't see how the volume is reacting in the microstructure. And that's really important. Uh, so, um, uh, for example, we can zoom into this area here, and uh, let, let me show you. Okay, let's let's look at the low here. All right. So um, this is uh, this the historical best bid and offer. Okay, best offer is the um, the red uh, line here, and then the best bid is the green line. Okay, these little transactions that you see here, these dots, uh, these are, this is the aggressive buying and selling. Green is aggressive buy. They, they paid up. They hit the market buy button, and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, red is the opposite. They hit the market sell uh, and took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, now you can see we're not aggregating any of this data. Okay, it's all still here. In fact, we can zoom in and really look at some of the details here. Look at how these markets trade, right? Uh, we're down at uh, microsecond level, okay? And here's our, our little blip up on the best bid and offer. Uh, but these, this little cluster of flurry of activity that traded here, okay? I can look over here in my volume column and I know it's for 24 contracts. This constitutes 24 contracts. I can continue to zoom in here uh, and we can look at every detail. This was 20. This was one trade for 20, and I know that. I can click on the uh, uh, this data tip tool, and I get the date, the time, the liquidity here, uh, and then the uh, the volume that traded. So volume of 20 at this price level. All right, but note how uh, now we're at down at you know nanosecond level. Now we don't trade off of nanosecond levels. However, I'm just trying to demonstrate that. Uh, uh, all of the data is recorded, every single event, okay? Our complex event processor can handle all of these data points, okay? So now as I zoom back out, note, however, uh, here that uh, now I'm starting to contract my timeline as I'm zooming out, and we're just graphically and visually going to aggregate that all into one big dot, okay? And uh, I know that this is a dot here that constitutes... Uh, 24 contracts, okay? All right, and as you continue to zoom out, you'll see that I will it will continue to graphically aggregate this together, but all of the data is still here, okay? We're just making it easy for you to, uh, to read. Uh, as I zoom out more, you'll note how we compress it so all these uh, events together that we display it overall as this pie display. So that's what you're looking at. Uh, in uh, in bookmap when you see this uh, pie display. So you can see that, you know, 80 or 90 percent of this uh, uh, volume here, uh, which is 406 contracts, because it's the same information down here, um, gives me that same as the data tip tool. Uh, it's, uh, it's mostly selling. All right. Now, I've just covered the aggressive volume, but look, look how it relates to the microstructure. Okay. Selling, lots of selling. Okay, we get a, a blip up here. Where do we where do we come to? Where we see a large dot here. 
Okay, we see kind of a little bit of sideways action back here, a little bit, uh, and then the aggressive seller uh, jumps right back in. We come back to test that area to see if there's more selling. Okay, and uh, there's a lot, and what happens here is there's not, there's a little bit more selling as you can see. Okay, but over in this area here, we see a lack of buying. Okay, this is the kind of detail you can see in bookmap, right? We can see that basically what happened here was that uh, the, the, the buyer is exhausted out. They're not interested in, in buying. Okay, the sellers take control right here and they break this microstructure. Look at it right here. Just they hit the bid hard. This is going lower. All right, we actually get a nice little pullback to right where we kind of broke from a little bit lower. Uh, and then we continue on. Sellers are in control. Okay. Now we make the low here, and uh, and then look how buyers start to take control above this microstructure here. Okay. And note the aggressive buying here. This is a change in the order flow. Okay. And uh, and you'll see this distinction. All right. And you can see we come back, and where do we test to? Okay, right where we broke out of that structure. This is the new reality in price. It's being valued at a higher area. Okay, this is the kind of detail that we look at uh, in the advanced uh, order flow webinars. Okay, and we gain a good understanding of the order flow uh, and uh, the auction as well. Now we haven't even looked at the auction yet. All right, so we're kind of running out of time here, uh, and. Um, uh, covered the volume uh, in in some detail here, but uh, uh, let's just go through uh, the um, the heat map. All right. So uh, this is um, looking at the traded volume is very insightful and very helpful, but there's uh, so much more to be seen here. It's really just a part of what's going on in the market. Okay. What about the what about the auction? Where are they bidding and offering? All of that action happens outside of the candlestick outside of the historical best bid and offer. Okay, it's not transactions, it's where they're bidding and offering. So let's zoom out and let's go to the current market. Okay, here we are. And uh, let me zoom in now uh, because I wanna show you our depth of market, okay? This is our dome and book map right here, the current order book column, okay? And at, this, at these price levels, I've got it every four ticks, okay? We see um, liquidity. Okay, and these numbers are always changing, all right? And um, that change is reflected graphically in this window. Okay, these are sellers up here that uh, want to sell at these specific price levels, and these are uh, bidders down here that want to buy at these specific price levels. These numbers are always changing, right? And um, we want to understand the auction here. Uh, where, where are the majority of them? We look at up here. We see there's 216 contracts waiting up here, 247 now. Right, so um, uh, that's an important thing to know. Right, we want we want to understand this auction, and um, the problem with the dome is that uh, when these numbers change, you've lost the data. Okay, like we just saw some activity here. Someone look look how that that trader just got more aggressive. He brought it down from the 74 and a three quarters down to 71 and a half. Okay, uh, now you know, now we see them down at 70 actually. Interesting stuff. So all of that data, previous data though, is lost in this current um, view. Uh, you'd have to remember those areas. That's the problem with the dome, is it's great for the current market, but it's, it, it's not good for understanding uh, the history of it. And that's where Bookmap uh, solves this issue because we record it, okay? In this window here, which is the current market window, you see the best bid and offer this number's the last traded volume, okay? And, um, uh, and then you see this, this uh, heat map that changes. This, this heat map changes to reflect the change in the liquidity, okay? And then it's transposed onto the chart historically. So that's what we're looking at here in, the, in this heat map, okay? Looks like it's really complex stuff, but what we're really looking at is just the history of the offer above, above uh, you know, the historical offer here. Uh, and then down here is the bid. Okay. So you can see they were interested in buying at these areas. It looks like they did buy. Okay, And the sellers are, uh, well, they started to get aggressive. It was, we just saw, uh, we just traded through them, and we're on our way up to, to find liquidity up here. Right, And this is longer-term liquidity that's been up here for a while. And then they pulled, and then they're back in now. 
okay, at the 74 and a half and, and 75. Anyway, uh, we can start to piece this all together now. Uh, we're starting to look at the, um, let me put on the indicators as well as the, um, and get a bigger picture here. Um, so now we're getting a, a, a much better understanding of the auction uh, and the uh, the traded volume, okay? And they work together. Okay, Brian. Yeah, I'll um, I'll send you a, um, uh, a an email uh, with a link to the uh, to the next um, the next webinar. Okay, that's strange, but. Um, Anyway, uh, I'll follow up with you. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Uh, there's all sorts of things in here to read and understand, but those are the basics. Uh, we're seeing a flip of the book here. As you can see that they were on the offer. Now they're on the bid over in these areas here. This is something that we look at for a new price uh, uh, acceptance and discovery, as we can see here. Okay. Uh, just uh, that flip right around this uh, 60 to 63 area here. All right. Okay. We'll wrap it up. We'll call it a day and we'll see you in the next webinar. Thanks.